Hi everybody, it's Daniel, Greenleaf Pest Control. You may know me as Mr. No Bugs. Uh, and today I have one of my favorite topics uh, this time of the year, because spring is in the air, but it's gypsy moth control. Uh, big thing uh, over the last couple of years. Lots of people are noticing their trees are being completely defoliated. Uh, and of course we love our trees, they're near and dear. They provide us shade, oxygen, and all those wonderful things. And these nasty little buggers, these gypsy moths, just are, are, are decimating all sorts of tree populations. So, if you follow along, there's all sorts of prevention tips coming up on destroying egg masses, what to look for, uh, some basic biology, what the pupil casings look like, and of course, again, something that we offer, which is the larva. So when you see the little caterpillars themselves, those are called larva. Those little larvae chew the trees, they eat all of the, the leaves. Of course, as they eat the leaves, they consume that stuff, but it destroys all, all the foliage and then it harms the tree. So what Greenleaf does is we have a fantastic uh, spray program that involves bacillus, uh, which is a bacteria, so it's BTK, and we spray the foliage. The caterpillars, especially when they're small, they're ferocious eaters, they eat the, the leaves, consume the bacteria, and it kills them naturally. So no harsh pesticides, uh, very, very low mammalian or human toxicity, and especially safe for pets and children. So it's a great, great product, two applications, and it will help out with that, that destroying stage. Something that people don't often think about is, you know, they always think of, of caterpillars chewing the leaves, but also your carnivorous trees or your pine needle trees, so blue spruces, they also damage those. The difference between those trees and a deciduous tree, so a deciduous has the leaves, carnivorous has the needles, is that carnivorous trees store the energy in the needles themselves. And so as the damage happens, the tree really, really suffers and may not bounce back the following year. So year one, it may be able to take some damage. Year two, if it gets damaged again, it is detrimental to the tree's health. So together, we will do the spraying. We will help you provide an integrated solution, but there's lots of great stuff you can do with banding the trees, with removing egg masses in the spring, and together we can tackle this problem proactively. Again, any questions, we're here to help. We're professionals. We do a lot of this type of, uh, of services amongst all sorts of other pest control uh, programs, but especially this time of the year, it's gypsy moths that are on people's mind. Give us a call. We're happy to help. Follow the video. Uh, and like I said, if you have any other questions after seeing what, uh, um, what I'm just demonstrating to you, please give us a call. Thanks. Take care. So I'm just at a homeowner's house inspecting for gypsy moth and caterpillars. So it's really important when we look at elimination for even next year is destroying a lot of these egg masses. So even though this is the base of the tree and typically they're kind of higher up in the crotches of the tree, but these guys are right at the base of the tree. And these egg masses can just be scraped off. I like to scrape them and put them into a bucket or a can. And they can either be destroyed with soap and water, a little bit of kerosene. If you've got a fire, you can kind of burn them in your fire. But also here, we even have some of these cocoons. Here we've got some live caterpillars as well. And so it's really, really critical that all of these things, post application, if you decide to use BTK, that these things get eliminated. As we move along, you see some of them on this tree as well. Scrape them all, the scraper, and put them all into uh, something that can be they can be destroyed. As I go along to the next tree, again, same sort of thing. Oh, look, here we got some giant caterpillars. These guys are gonna get ready to pupate and turn into those chrysalises any day. But here's some more egg masses. And again, all of these things can be destroyed at any point in time. And even, don't forget the fence. See all those cocoons there? Egg masses, cocoons, adults, all sorts of caterpillars. These guys are strolling along the fence. Here he's got the buddy, the earwig. He's checking things out too, all along the fence. So you got several kind of crazy things happening here. And soon they're gonna pupate out of these cocoons. And then what you're gonna end up with is moths, male and female, and they're gonna breed and they're gonna make a whole bunch more of these egg masses. So destroy these things, scrape, destroy, burn, soak, crunch, dispose of properly. And you'll make a huge impact on the population for next year. Gypsy moth caterpillar saying, 
Have a great day.